All right, now that we've measured your ear molds, made sure that they're doing what they're doing so that when you go to concerts, when you're shooting, when you go to the movie theaters, that they're actually reducing the noise that they should be doing. I wanna show you how to take care of them and then practice putting them on and taking them off. So I'm gonna make you a goodie bag before you go home, but there is just a little carrying case for you to put them in. So this prevents you from having to stuff them in your pocket, put them in a Kleenex, throw them away by accident. They're not super expensive, but we don't need to be buying them every couple weeks in that case. So you've just got a little case. I found a lot of people will go to the drugstore and get like a little contact case if they want extra ones around so that you might have one in your bag, you might want to have one in your travel. Um, carry-on luggage, something like that, but just something safe to put them in. The devices, I love your colors. The devices themselves are set up so that you're gonna look very quickly when you get used to them and you're gonna know which one goes in the right and the left ear. Until then, you can see the left side has a little L for left and it's color-coded blue. And you've got your R for red and it's color-coded, sorry, R for right and it's color-coded red. So red, right, blue, left. And again, you're gonna get really good at looking at them and knowing. We're gonna practice putting them on and taking them off in just a minute because I want you to feel comfortable with them. But before we do that, they send you this little tiny cleaning tool. Now you're probably the only one who's gonna be using these. So if you feel like you need to clean them because you see any little bits of wax or dirt or skin on them, a lot of times I'll just use a tissue because I can throw it away. You can use anything else that's soft to take that off, but you wanna stay away from alcohols, um, hydrogen peroxide, anything that might eat away at the material. So again, soft and dry is really nice. They send you this little tiny tool that you can work with as well. I find a lot of times the Kleenex will do the trick. If you feel like they're really dirty and you do need to wash them, you can do that in warm water and whatever gentle soap you're using on your hand, be it Dove, Dial, Irish Springs, whatever that might be. But just a little bit of warm water, a little bit of soap, you can wipe them all down and then let them air dry overnight before you use them again. Good, mm -hmm. all right. So I want you to practice putting them in and taking them out. There's no right or wrong way to do it, but I want you to know that when you put them in, they're not gonna go too far in your ear. So you can physically reach up and like push and push and push. They're not gonna get stuck. They're not gonna go too far. They shouldn't hurt, they shouldn't pinch, they shouldn't pry any irritation. None of that should happen. If it does, I wanna know right away. But you're gonna have something in your ear, so it'll feel a little different. And again, I want you to try the right and the left side just to make sure that you're comfortable with them. Good, and the right side. Good, and reach up, give them a good push. Not gonna go too far. Now take them out. Great, it's like you've worn them before. Any questions for me? Nope. All right, we've got a 30 day uh, remake period. So if you do have any issues, I wanna know right away, cause I wanna make sure we can get them back to the lab if we need to, to have them remade during that warranty period.